Hello guys, Shubham here back again. So it's been a while and we have a whole lot of ROMs running on Android 14 for POCO F1. Just like that, we have something new in the market. And this ROM is also something different and new. So introducing the Genesis OS based on Android 14 official for POCO F1. So let's see how to install this one. So at the very first time, as you can see moving to the settings, I am running on the official build of Infinite OS running on Android 14. So this is the build which I have shown in my last video how to install it, so must check out. So over here we are being on the Infinite OS for POCO F1 which is also an official build. And now let's move back to our main business. So this is the telegram channel as I mentioned in every video from here we will get the download link also mentioned in the description. Just from here you have to download this ROM file. You can see these notifications stating Genesis OS and all the other nodes over here. So you just have to click on the download link that is the first thing mentioned in this notification and you will be land on the download page of this ROM. Clicking on it, you will be landed to this beautiful site of Genesis OS and from there you have to download this file which is the first one. Clicking on it, the download will start and in my case, I am just cancelling it because I have already downloaded this file. So let's cancel it and here I go. So now next part is about going to the file explorer and seeing if we have all the files. So the very first file is the rom.os and also now going to this folder where these two files are also given in description. Booting to the TWRP at the very first time click on wipe and select all the partitions to wipe. Make sure if you want you can pause the video and select all these partitions properly and wipe as that is one of the most and very first crucial step. Now you can just go back and now click on install. Clicking on it there is a series and a way you have to install files the very first file is the firmware which i have selected from that folder and the next is the rom.zip file so these two files must be flashed together once you select it just swipe to flash and over here our flashing has been done if you can see over here it is something written as otg because the thing is that when i was installing this rom from the internal storage somehow it got corrupted so I stored this file in my OTG and then I flashed this. I know it was a little inconvenience but it won't happen in your case so don't worry. So now you just have to go back and now again you have to click on mount. Clicking on it you have to again select vendor and then you have to go back click on install and now you have to again go to the folder where you have stored your firmware and from there you have to select this file that is the DFE. DFE are safe aside so that we cannot get in the encryption or our ROM must not get encrypted. So it just to disable it. So now you can see all the successful notification says that all the files have been installed successfully and now click on reboot and let's reboot to system. So as you can see this is the POCO logo which states that our phone is booting and now here it comes. It is the Genesis OS boot animation which states that our ROM has been successfully installed and now let it cook and let it boot. So fast forward our ROM has been booted and I have set up this ROM with all the basic settings such as the backup and everything else. Let me change this wallpaper quick and yes, I have just set this wallpaper and to be honest, this selection of wallpaper and to set it is really beautiful. Over here, this is the about phone section and you can see this is the Genesis OS build running on the latest security patch and also it's having everything and also the Android 14 Easter egg. That's pretty much obvious. So that means we have successfully installed this ROM without any issues. Just because as I mentioned, if you follow all the steps properly, you will have every ROM installed successfully without any issues. With that said, I cannot see any kind of customizations mentioned from the community. It might be because they are just 
trying to build a community first and trying to see if how many people are interested in this ROM and being a first build they haven't included much of it but I believe with future updates they will surely bring everything inside it and it would be great to see. As of now I feel that this ROM is perfectly good as a daily driver and also something for someone who doesn't like much of the customizations just a simple AOSP look for them this ROM is amazing. You will also get the MI camera for which you know this is quite famous for this 4K 60fps recording which you get in POCO F1. So that's it for this video guys if you like this video you must hit that like button and also subscribe this channel for more such updates upcoming. This is all about the Genesis Suite installation and I will see you guys again in the next one. Until then, peace out.